today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! Ah! Hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! Symbiosis, a mutually beneficial relationship between two organisms. For example, take the periscope fungus which makes its home inside the albino crater sloth of Infernios 4. This particularly nasty little fungus burrows into the skull of the unknowing sloth, feeding on brain tissue until mature enough to burst forth from the creature's forehead. Ew! <laughs> Told you it was nasty. The spindly fungus then settles in, peering up over the lip of craters, alerting the host to oncoming fiery winds, which might incinerate the otherwise unknowing sloth. It's the perfect symbiotic relationship. One creature gets food and lodging, the other gets a new set of fireproof eyes. Everybody wins! Looks like I'm a winner, too. See you skin bags after lunch. Gross it up for ya? Almost. Let's eat! Oh, uh, you guys? You going to lunch? I'll be along shortly. I'd like to jot down every tidbit of information regarding that fascinating fungus. Kurt, don't tell me you're staying behind to take notes. No, I'm, uh, chewing a piece of gum, and I don't think it's a good idea to walk at the same time. Sounds reasonable. Come on, Lloyd. Toodles! Bye! Er, um, Kurt, I've seen you walk and chew gum on numerous occasions with nary a mishap. What are you really doing here? Well, actually, Douglas, I'm hiding out. Hiding out? From whom? Rodney Glaxer. Every time he sees me, he makes fun of me. And he told me that today at lunch, he was going to make fun of me and my food. What a shocking coincidence. Rodney Glaxer issued a similar threat to me. He's picking on you, too? That's great. Maybe we can get picked on together. Actually, I think I prefer hiding together right here. Yeah, he's terrible. Well, you should hear some of the mean names he calls me. Dummy, One-Eyed Wonder, Blue Boy, Freckled Freak, Big Dumb One-Eyed Freckled Blue Freak, Big Blue Freaky One-Eyed... Uh, I believe I get the picture. I bet he has some real mean names for you. Well, I see no need to get into... I mean, just look at you. He could call you Shorty, Wrinkly... Kurt, please, I don't Tissue think... Boy, No Neck, Four Eyes, The Little Gray Geek, The Short Little No Necked Four-Eyed Tissue Boy Geek... Kurt! I'm sure someone of Rodney's limited attention span has grown weary of waiting by now. Let's say we get some lunch. Okay. <laughs> Yes, Kurt, precisely as I theorized. We should be completely safe. Should be safe, but somehow I figure you ain't. Rodney! If it ain't the big blue dumb guy and his pal, Lil Lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Lumpy? Hey, Douglas, I didn't think of that one. So, you thought you could outsmart me by hiding out somewhere, huh? Well, er, uh, um... Nobody outsmarts me, especially some big blue guy with a pea brain like you. Pea brain? Now, see here, Rodney, that large blue fellow is my friend. And you! You're so smart, how come you're so scrawny? Huh, scrawny? Well, I hardly think one's intelligence has much to do with physical... Whoa! Hey, don't push my friend, Earl! You'll what? Misspell me to death? <laughs> <laughs> Misspell. You're so dumb, you don't have the guts to do nothing to help that weakling. Once again, Rodney, I fail to see what mental ability has to do with... Whoa! Rodney, you're... you're... You're mean! We'll all be derfed. The big blue guy actually figured something out for once. <laughs> I did not! Aw, oh, what are you gonna do now? Cry like a big blue baby or something? Cause you're so dumb? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Randy, that's more than enough! Okay, wimp. That's enough. For now. But you and me are gonna pick this up again. Today. After school. Dead man's asteroid. Be there, loser. <laughs> Kurt? Douglas? Are you guys all right? Nothing hurt but my pride. Oh, my medulla oblongata. What the heck was that all about? Rodney Glaxer challenging you to a fight just out of nowhere? I'm afraid it's the climax of weeks of harassment that Kurt and I have both endured. What? He's been pushing down Douglas and calling me stupid and dumb. But you guys should have told me and Eddie about this. What would you fellows have done? Yeah, would you guys have taken on Rodney? Uh... Eddie? Yeah, right. Then they'd call us stupid and dumb. Face it, Douglas. You and me are doomed to always be picked on by bullies. That's crazy. You don't have to sit and take it. You gotta adapt. How so? Kurt, Ronnie makes fun of you for being dumb, right? And for being spotted, and for my face, and for my one eye, and for being dumb. Yeah, well, the way I see it, all you need are some snappy comebacks to his moronic cracks. Might I suggest snappy comebacks to moronic cracks, volume 7, by the editors of Wacky Magazine? 
And Dougie, you just need to hit the gym after school and bulk up a bit. No offense, but if you had a little more body mass, you could show that bully who's boss. I appreciate that, Edward, but my genetic composition won't support bulking up. Especially in under three hours. Oh yeah? Here's a cron tower. Tell it to your may may. That's mama, Kurt. Tell it to your mama. On second thought, let's forget the book. I guess maybe we better run away and never come back, huh, Douglas? No, no, wait a minute, guys. Eddie's on to something here. I am? Kurt needs a little more brains, and Douglas needs a little more muscle, right? Yes. Go on. Well, why not help each other out? Like the fungus and the sloth Mrs. Bull was talking about. Kurt could be Douglas's muscle, and Douglas could be Kurt's brain. Ah, you suggest we form a sort of symbiotic relationship? Exactly. Sounds good, Lloyd. Only a dumb old dummy would call my friend Douglas dumb. Yes, and no one is strong enough to push around my behemoth friend Kurt. Guys, I got a feeling today, after school on Dead Man's Asteroid, Rodney's gonna finally need his match. Well, time's up. I knew that wimpy little lump of goo wouldn't have the guts to get punched out by me. He's chicken. Wrong, Rodney! Douglas is here, and so is Kurt, and they're more than ready to take you on. Hey, two against one ain't fair. Oh, come on. Those two losers don't even add up to one of me. Bring them on. Douglas, Kurt, Rodney's waiting. Well, we daren't keep Rodney waiting. Remember, Kurt, block all external stimuli. Listen only to me. Up! <gasps> Rodney Glaxer! Kurt and I are tired of your bullying. As of today, we joined forces and announced that we will not take it anymore. Put him up! Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you big blue dummy. You too stupid to know you got something stuck to your head? <laughs> Did you hear that one? I would reply with a witty comeback, Rodney, but calling you stupid would be an insult to stupid beings throughout the universe. I don't like the sound of whatever it was you just said. Enough talking. What do I do, Douglas? He's gonna hit me. Remember our plan. Just raise your arm. Don't blink, guys. You might miss me winning. Now, ah! Kurt! You big blue doofus! Kurt, you heard the man! Huh? Let him go! No! Ah! <laughs> we did it, Doug! We beat the bully! Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the strongest, smartest kids at Luna Vista Middle School, Kurt and Douglas! Or from now on, Kurtless! Yeah! I like it. And then, Kurt, man, you flicked Rodney away like he was a bug. And he went flying and he kept going and going right off the asteroid into deep space. Yay! Tell the story again, Eddie. It gets better and better every time. It certainly gets more grandiose with each telling. I'm saying. And you owe it all to Lloyd's symbiotic idea. Good thing you were paying attention to Bolt's lecture for once. Yep, for once, school actually came in handy. After yesterday, I don't think Rodney will ever pick on you two again. Give me five, big guy. Wow, again? That's like the 17th high five you've given me today. Hey, what can I say? Curtless rocks. He certainly does. I can't remember my peers hailing me to such a degree. Come on, Nerdlington. You want your lunch. You gotta jump for it. Uh, 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 <laughs> goodness, now Rodney's picking on Mendel. That's just not right. Say, Kurt, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, What's the big you two again? That's right, Rodney. It's us, Duggert. Oops. I believe we agreed on Kurtless. Well, who cares? This ain't none of your business. By disturbing our peaceful lunch period, you have made it our business. Here, Mendel, catch. Thanks, Kurtless. Well, okay, that's that then. I'll just be go. Hey, let me go. Uh, let me go. Kurtless, 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 Kurtless. You've assumed Kurt you had learned your Kurt lesson, Rodney. Oh yeah, I did. I definitely. Learned my lesson. No more picking on losers and geeks with you guys around. I promise. Hmm. It doesn't sound as if he's truly learned his lesson, does it, Kurt? Hey, Rodney gave me an airlock wedgie once. I didn't like it at all. How about we give him one back? Oh, come on, not that. I'll be better. Y you'll see. Come along, one and all, and watch as Kurt and I administer an airlock wedgie, teaching Rodney a lesson he will never forget. Yeah. <laughs> no. This ain't fair. No. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. <laughs> Little buddy, there you are. What you doing? Hey, banjo lessons. I just thought I'd post a copy of the document Rodney signed for Curtin Douglas yesterday. Oh, yeah. 
I, Rodney Glaxer, do hereby promise never to beat up, ridicule, or otherwise bully another student during my tenure here at Luna Vista. <laughs> Look, actual tear stains. And witnessed by Kurt Liz himself. Funky signature. Is Kurt's half in crayon? Green crayon. Hello, friends. Hey, what's up with you guys walking around this Kurtless? Why not, Lloyd? I mean, the cheers, the camaraderie, the respect this new Kurtless hybrid commands. It's absolutely bracing! And too darn fun! Well, I gotta admit, the whole Kurtless thing has done wonders for you guys. I just didn't picture it being a full-time thing. As they always say, if it ain't fissured, don't fuse it. Kurtless! Kurtless! I... I... My, my hat! He... He took my lucky hat! Without asking? Tell me, Jimmy, who was it? Who took your lucky hat? Marcus! He took it around that way! He said he was gonna chuck it into the toilet tube and eject it into space! Don't worry, Jimmy! It's Marcus whose luck just ran out! Stop, thief! There is, of course, nowhere to hide! No! Uh, uncle! Oh, uncle! Marcus should have known better than to run for it. Kurt takes one big step for every 14 of his. Once again, Jimmy, you may wear your lucky cap with impunity. The scoundrel Marcus has been defeated. His hat swiping days are over. Wow, Kurtless, you're the best. I'd I'd like you to have it as a thank you. No thanks, Jimmy. I'm already wearing my favorite hat. My best friend. Yes, Jimmy, you keep it. Wear it as a cotton knit logo bearing symbol that kids in the school are truly free. Wow, I'll never wash it again. Kurtless, Kurtless, Kurtless. You know what, e? It seems to me our school has entered like a golden age or something. Amen to that, my friend. Amen to that. Hey, Kurtless, enjoy your meal. Kurtless, way to be, man. Hi, Kurtless, have a super day. Thank you. you. certainly will. Man, this is so cool. You guys have become, like, the most popular kids in school. And it's all thanks to you. To Lloyd, inventor of us. Huh? Sorry, man. Oh, that's okay. It's only chocolate. Chocolate doesn't sting, does it? Excuse me, but that's my friend Lloyd who just doused in chocolate milk. Well, um, I said I was sorry. It did sound terribly sincere. Perhaps you need to learn some manners. Oh, no, that's okay, Douglas. It was an accident. He didn't mean to. Teach him a lesson, Curtis. Yeah, give him an airlock wedgie. That ought to do yeah. it. <laughs> They're playing our song, Douglas. Indeed they are. You! Huh? No, it was an accident. Kid, stop him. I'm begging you. I'm sorry. But, but I didn't ask. I don't want you to... Come on, Lloyd. Finish your lunch and let go. It just isn't lunch anymore until some kid gets his underpants yanked in the airlock. Kurt, doesn't your spine get stiff carrying Douglas around all day? Uh, my spine? We get that question a lot. Fact is, the kid that comprised the Kurt part of Kurtless doesn't actually have a spine. That's one reason our symbiotic situation functions so well. Uh, excuse me. Hey, you! Y yes Mr. Kurtless, sir? Tell me this. What was it we'll have no more of here at Luna Vista? Um, accidents? Very good. Now get lost! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I mean, what did that poor kid do this time? Huh? Oh, nothing. Curlis was just refreshing his lesson is all. You know, so he doesn't spill on any other innocent, unsuspecting kid. Don't you think Curtis is, I don't know, overdoing it a little? Overdoing it? Ha! Mr. Clumsy got what he deserved and more! Lloyd, you know the guys. Bigelow, Scooch, Gina. The guys? Guys, this is Lloyd. He's cool. Oh, um, I didn't know you guys were all hanging out together. They like Curtis. They think we're, um, what? The bomb. See? Bombs are nice, right? Oops, I'm sorry. Oh, why, hello, Kurtless. How's it going? <laughs> Something funny, Mendel? Huh? Oh, no, I was just... Am I funny to you? Is that it? Do I somehow amuse you? Am I some kind of clown to you? Well, uh, um... You sounded that way to me, Kurtless. Eddie! Whoa! Whoa. Show up, Kurtless. Okay, nerd. You and me are gonna pick this up again. Today. After school, dead man's asteroid. Be there, loser. <laughs> Kurt, Douglas. See you there, Mendel. Oh, dear. That only leaves me three hours to prepare. <sighs> um, hey, Kurt. I need to talk to you. You know, friend to friend. <gasps> 
sort of thought Douglas would be here too. Oh, oh but, but I, I am here, Lloyd. Lloyd. Or, or should, should I, I say, was? What? What is that thing? This? Why, well, it's a biogenic coupler. A little invention I've been working on. on. Spiffy, eh? Well, what's it do? By transmuting their thoughts and neurological impulses, it links the former Kurt to the former Douglas. Former? What are you talking about? As I speak, the device is working to fuse Kurt and Douglas together, joining their brains, their hearts, their souls. Do you know how crazy that sounds? No, no I, I don't. don't. By midnight tomorrow, tomorrow, the biogenic process will be complete, complete and Kurt and Douglas, Douglas as you know them, cease to exist. In their place will stand Kurtless, the ultimate boy, inseparable and unstoppable! Douglas, that's horrible! You can't Please, call me Kurtless. Douglas was a brainy little speck who got pushed around. Nobody pushes Kurtless around. Nobody! And, uh, nobody is smarter than me either. Listen, Kurtless, you're really scaring me here. Oh! Look at the time. I've, I've got to go, go clean Mendel's chronometer. chronometer. We'll talk later, okay, boy? Okay, but guys! Kurtless is a little busy right now. Megan mince meat out of Mendel. Check back with him. Like, never. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, man. I've created a monster. Martial Arts for Youngsters. Chapter 1. Meeting One's Opponent. When meeting one's opponent, always bow, like so. Now you try. Very good. Chapter 2, Noises. Mendel? Oh, oh, it's only you, Lloyd. I was busy preparing to do battle with Kurtless. This holographic karate course is rated four and a half stars. Super, but still, oh, Mendel, I don't think you should go through with this. Kurtless is too strong for one kid to fight. I knew it! You're here to offer to be my other half. Uh, well, not exactly. Stacked on top of each other, you and I will create our own unstoppable symbiotic boy. We can call him Mendeloid. We'll defeat Kurtless and rule the school. It's brilliant! Why, Mendel? So we could become as big a bully as Kurtless? Sure. A bully that's popular. A bully that's respected. A bully that's liked by every kid in school. Not by me. Well, then you're the only one. Take my advice, Mendel. Run away. Keep on hiding. Stay a coward. Try anything. Just don't give in and fight. Otherwise, you might become just as big a jerk as Kurtless. I'd like to take your advice, Lloyd, but the fact is, if I don't stand up to him, I'll never be able to look at myself in the mirror again. Sometimes a carbon-based life form's gotta do what a carbon-based life form's gotta do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some karate to finish learning. Yeah, hi! Yeah, hi! Maybe you're right, Mendel. Maybe you're right. Kurtless! 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 Kurtless, look! Here he comes! Well, 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 the nerd, nerd actually showed up. <laughs> Kurtless, sir, I'm prepared to do this, but I would just like to clarify before we begin exactly what I did to upset you. I mean, I just bumped into... That's not the point! You're a wimpy, Mendel, Mendel an, an obvious nerd, nerd and therefore fair game! game. Am, Am I right? right? Yeah. Teach him a lesson, Kurtless! Okay, okay Mendel. Mendel, you're, you're going, going down. down. Step aside, Nebulon. Sorry. If you want Mendel, you gotta go through me. Don't, Don't be, be silly, Lloyd. Lloyd. I, I have, have no beef, beef with, with you. you. You have no beef with anybody. I mean, what did poor Mendel here ever do to you? Except not be as strong or as obnoxious as you. Obnoxious? Easy, Nebulon. Yeah, obnoxious. Hey, Douglas, last week you were in the music room playing 3D chess with Mendel. And you lost, graciously. But don't listen to him! I am Kurtless, the most powerful kid in school! Nothing can stop me! Nothing! True, nothing can stop you, Kurtless, but nothing can make me look up to you either. I did look up to those two kids you used to be. The kid who was smart enough to play 3D chess with Mendel. The kid who was strong enough to pummel every rotten kid in school, but never even lifted a finger. I really like those two kids, but I don't like you. So what? No, no one, one else, else agrees, agrees with you. you. Everyone, Everyone loves, loves the, the new Kurtless. Uh, actually, Lloyd's right. I kind of like those other kids better, too. I have to say, I prefer them as well. Uh, Don't listen to him, Kurtless. Flick him off this rock like a bug or something. Yeah, pummel him. Pummel the both of them. Face it, Kurt. Douglas, you become the thing you hated most. A stupid, angry bully. Out to get a little cheap attention. But if that's the way you want to do things... If you insist on being a bully, you're gonna have to go through me. You, you know, know what, what we, we have, have to do? do. Let's, Let's destroy, destroy him. him. 
Put me down, Kurt. Thank you, Lloyd, for talking some sense into me. I mean, Kurt and me. We're sorry, Mendel. Yes, my friend Kurt and I found ourselves swayed by the praise of the crowd. I ask you to forgive us both. Aw, oh, sure. We on for chess next week? Yeah! All right, people, move along. Nothing to see here, nothing at all. Guys, it's really good to have you back. Thanks, Lloyd. It's good to be back. Yeah, I feel like a great big weight has been lifted off my shoulder. And thankfully, no one here will ever see the likes of Kurtless again. Come on, guys. Let's head over to the food court. I'm buying my three best friends some french fries and radium shakes. Not so fast. We are a Scoogenolo, and we're in charge now. Hey, who wants to catch up with those fries? Hey, talking to you. Get back here. Whoa!